Number three. Now, before I reveal number three, we're entering the realms of top three now. These three cards are one of the most insane cards, not just of the decade, but have ever been made in Yu-Gi-Oh. These cards are just incredible, and it's quite subjective what order they should be in, first, sec first second, or third. These cards are just mental, and take it with a pinch of salt in the order that they're in, first, second, or third, like I say. It's completely like an opinion based thing and you can just decide for yourself which one you think is the better out of these three. But for the sake of just the scoring we did and the top 12 list that we did, um, this is just the order that they've came came out at. I personally agree with the order, but you let me know what, you've, what you think as well. So without further ado, number three, Soul Charge. <laughs> now, this card burst onto the scene in 2014. I remember when it first came out, I literally had just got back into the game in 2014. I was just playing my little Fire Fist deck. Uh, Wolf Bark went to one, and then suddenly Soul Charge gets announced as a card. Very Monster Reborn still banned at this point, bear in mind. And then this card comes out and basically says, Pay 5,000 life points, special summon 5 monsters, and you just win the game. Mental. It's a card that like pretty much transformed the format. It turned... The tempo of decks just got ridiculously high. Um, when Soul Charge came out, all these control gear, gear nonsense decks just became obsolete because Mermail and Infernity just became mental. At Worlds 2014, you saw decks that weren't playing, that were played free Soul Charge do ridiculously well. Infernity went in Worlds as well. Soul Charge then eventually went to one, but that was still not enough. Soul Charge was still just thrown in decks generically, like it played in the Shadol deck, it was played in the Burning Abyss deck. If the deck had a graveyard, you played Soul Charge because it could just summon loads of cards back. It kind of phased in and out now and again. People like threw it in now and again since it was a one of you would barely really see it. Sometimes it would crow up and you would lose because you just had it. You had Soul Charge, so you would win. And it became that sort of card. You would be so far behind in a zoo mirror, suddenly, whoop, Soul Charge, summon all the zoos back. And then I think what was the final straw for me was when Danger FTK was a thing where the deck basically just revolved around drawing it into your deck until you drew soul charge and then just fdk your opponent that's just mental man <laughs> card is just so good and it's rightfully gone and this as well as the other two cards that are about to go through with the top three i hope never come back again because they're just so mental soul charge number three one of the best cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, not just the decade well cheers for that guys what do you think do you think this card should be higher? Maybe it should. It's mental. Thanks for watching, guys. See you for number two.